In this video, we will be solving problem number 28 in chapter 4. We begin by first defining the problem that we're trying to solve. For this problem, we need to find some temperature profile through our brain tissue, uh, and then using this temperature profile, find an average and a maximum temperature within the brain. First, we begin by drawing a schematic and listing any known values. On the left is the schematic directly from the textbook, and the brain here is depicted as some hemisphere with its outer surface held at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. We'll talk about why there's this no heat flow later, but these X's are just there to indicate that there's no heat flow through the bottom of the brain. On the right, we have a list of known values that are just extracted from the problem description. Now we need to talk about any assumptions that we have to make to solve this problem. The problem states that we can assume a steady state for this system. We're also told to assume that heat is only lost in the radial direction. So because heat is only being lost in the radial direction, there's no possible way for heat to flow through the bottom of the brain, which is exactly why we have this no heat flow and these X's at the bottom of our, of our schematic. The last assumption we need to make is to assume that the arterial blood temperature is the same everywhere in our brain tissue.